He's transmitting live. That's something seriously. Come on. Who's gonna do it? No, no, take a seat, take a seat, brothers. Any of anywhere. Just a practical demonstration of wudu, that's all. Come on, bro. Practice. So inshallah we'll commence with obviously the intention that we need to make Are you okay in camera on camera? Are you okay? This happen? Are you okay on camera? You can phone home as well. You somebody can watch it. Seriously. No, no. So don't Yeah, I said it. So inshallah, first of all, we we'll make niyyah with sunnah. So we'll first make the intention. Obviously, you want to get rid of hadith say asghar, and there afterwards. We will recite Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and then we'll commence by washing the hands three times and then we can close the tap thereafter. Alhamdulillah. So after washing the hands thrice, the next is taking the water in our hand and then putting it in our mouth. Obviously, you can gargle this time because we're not fasting yet. I've got viewers, I can tell. Yeah, no, I've got viewers, I can tell. So do it three times, thrice. Right, once we've actually done that, the next step is actually taking water into the nostrils three times and then cleaning the nose with the left, uh, thing, uh, the left hand, the smallest finger and the thumb, inshallah. So you do it three times. I will. Right, so once we've done that, Alhamdulillah, so we've cleansed the, the nose now. The next step on. is now we're going to be washing the face. Now, including, like I said, and I mentioned of it, let's wash the face properly and correctly, according to the Sunnah method, which I explained. Do it three times, inshallah. Includes the chin as well. And then make clean out of the beard of those that have the beard. No, seriously. Make sure the hands reach, that the thumb reaches the side as well. Oh, seriously. I've got viewers here. Okay, the next step, the next step after we've done that, we can just close the taps. The next step is washing the... So the water reaches the skin. Now if you have a thick beard, it will be just wetting it. And if you have a thin beard, the water needs to reach the skin. Whichever way, as long as the water is reaching the skin. Right, the next step, inshallah, we're going to do is now washing the forearms, the right first, three times, including the elbows, then the left. Okay. Four arms, including the elbow. I'll upload Remember those, you know, sometimes those can we actually give Yeah, so he's on Ghusl to the Mayyad. Because sometimes the people come and question us is that why do we put our food? This, uh, the thing that smells very, very strong onto the part where the person is actually where he goes to surgery. This is the reason why, because that part will glow on the day of Qiyamah. The same, the same as those parts and those limbs that we wash in wudu, those will glow, inshallah, on the day of Qiyamah. So we've done that. The next step is make masa. Avoid explaining the methodology. And inshallah, I hope we've understood the method. So we've done the masa. Yes, Alhamdulillah. The next step that we're going to do is now wash the right foot, including the ankles, and then making masa with the left hand, the smallest finger. So you start from the smallest toe of the right of the right foot by making khilal. Yes, correct. The smallest finger, yes, rubbing it and ensuring that it's yes. Correct. MashaAllah. Then the left, do the left one as well. Make khilal with the smallest finger of the left hand, from starting from the little toe on the right, 
Anything that's just a little tall on the left. Yeah, from, from the blue side. No, no, from, from the side. What's the volume? What are you talking about? No, no, right. Not at all. See, this is very. Now, wait, man. I'm talking about speeding. Right, the next step. Nah, we're doing it. Nah, I did go. Ideally, you should try and use the left hand. If you cannot, you can always use the right hand. You can try using the right hand. Ideally, right. 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 Jay, the next step is now obviously reciting the dua. And then, inshallah, that is our dua is done. So, that is the practical method of actually you can do properly and correctly. So you can read the dua and you can wipe yourself and try and say, Jazakallah khairan ahsan Allah jazak for the practical um, demonstration by the volunteers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.